Hello guys, I hope you've seen my previous video about implementing AppMob ads in Construct 3. As you know, one of the important uh, benefits of HTML5 games is that they are playable on any device and that's something good because we can present the game to all people regardless of the OS or device they use. To have a good game uh, experience, we need to make the game objects flexible and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the game responsive based on the screen size. Uh, at the first step, I'm going to show you how to uh, resize the background to fill the screen and then I'm going to show you how to change the game object's position uh, based on the uh, screen size. Let's do it. Alright, as you can see, we have these objects here. Uh, I have, I've already added them and the uh, first one is uh, BG, which is a tile background and will be repeated uh, in uh, in a screen size and we have pool object which will be on the center of the screen and also will be get bigger and smaller when we change the orientation or change the size of the uh, game. So uh, we have a, a panel object uh, which, which have some image points for these objects txt test, txt score and these two objects for res reset and pause and uh, as you can see when I open this object we have two frames uh, first one is for uh, portrait mode and this uh, object will be on the uh, top of the screen at the top of the screen and uh, second one is for landscape mode and will be at, uh, at the right of the screen and as you can see both of these frames have several image point image points for uh, these objects that we have here and these objects and uh, etn pause is going to be on this position reset on this position and txt of s score and s on these positions okay uh, let's go in game sheet and uh, create two variables for calling our uh, responsive function. So first one is going to be a screen with value and let's copy and paste it and change it to a screen height value. And here I'm going to create a new group here. Doesn't matter what is its name and uh, let's uh, hit B button and system on a start of layout and Let's hit B button again, hit F for creating a new function. I'm going to call this responsive and responsive, okay. This function will be called whenever we start the layout and whenever we uh, change the screen width or height. So I'm going to double click here system and compare variable screen with variable and it's going to be viewport width layer of zero which is bg here and what i'm going to say here i'm going to say whenever uh, this uh, variable is not equal to viewport width i'm going to change the s screen with value to viewport width of layer 0 and then I'm gonna call responsive function and I'm gonna copy and paste this object uh, this events and uh, change a screen width to a screen height and viewport width to viewport height okay as you can see we change these okay now we have this function here and I'm gonna First of all, ch uh, change the position of PG to center of the screen and then change the size of it. So, at action, PG is a position to layout width divided by 2 and layout height divided by 2. And let's run the game. Okay, this pool object is here and I'm gonna put it here to see the PG, okay? We have BG here and now I'm gonna change the size of BG. BG set size, viewport width of 
layer zero and we work with um, layer height of layer zero. Okay, let's run. Okay, as you can see, whenever I change the uh, size of the uh, size of the browser, it will be changed. And now let's put the pull in, in, on the center of the screen. So, add action pull, set position to layout width divided by two and layout height divided by two. Okay, very good. Now let's uh, put panel on top of the screen whenever we are uh, in portrait mode. So hit B button, double click, browser is portrait, then uh, add action, panel set frame to zero and panel set position to layout width divided by two and y is going to be viewport of top okay and let's copy and paste change to landscape and frame to one and uh, position is going to be on viewport right of x-axis and y is going to be layout height divided by two now let's see okay because we're landscape is going to be uh, on here okay all right now let's change the scale of the pan uh, scale of the panel when we are uh, landscape so an action panel search for scale and scale is going to be viewport width of layer zero divided by viewport height of uh, layer zero divided by two and uh, let's run I'm gonna hit F12 on the keyboard and set this feature to responsive and this icon for toggle device toolbar and here I'm gonna I can change the screen size so as you can see whenever I change uh, it looks very good for landscape now it's time to change the size of uh, panel when we when we are portrait so let's go back here copy and paste it here and I'm gonna change the value to 1.9 uh, the uh, minus viewport height of layer 0 divided by 2 divided by 2000 actually so let's run as you can see whenever I change the size you can see it's working very well and uh, the size of the pool when we are portrait is okay but when we are on uh, landscape mode we need to change it so let's go and uh, copy and paste this action and R for replace to pool and I'm gonna change the number 2 to 1.2 okay and run 12 again and okay it's look good here but we can change the value something like 1.5 and now I think is very good all right uh, as you can see I've uh, I had these numbers here you need to uh, get these numbers play around with these numbers in your game and get your numbers for uh, scale size position and everything you have in uh, your game for doing responsive job so I've uh, I've done this uh, objects now it's time to put the position uh, change the position of these objects here so let's go here hit B button add action hit and pause set position to another object an object is going to be panel on uh, image point of btn pause we already added here pause and 
I'm going to copy and paste it and change to btn reset and the value of image point is going to be btn reset now and uh, let's add another action for txt test set position to another object and panel on image point of test and copy and paste hit r txt best is going to be txt score and it's and its value is will be score okay now run and as you can see we have them here and I'm gonna hit F12 in portrait mode is okay and in landscape is okay but the size of buttons as you can see or these um, text objects is not uh, good here so we need to change them to so first of all, I'm going to go for portrait mode and uh, change the scale of TXT best. TXT best set, set scale to uh, panel dot width divided by uh, 1500. One okay. And uh, let's run its F12. And as you can see, this object is looking very good and I'm gonna copy and paste and replace for txt score 2 now I'm gonna copy and paste here and change the this number to 750 and this one 750 okay alright we have them very good here and we need to change the size of buttons so I'm gonna change the size of pity and pause to uh, panel dot width divided by 1000 and copy and paste for landscape I'm gonna change it to 500 and uh, the pause button looks good here and for landscape is look good too okay i'm going to copy and paste for and change to btn reset and copy paste change to btn reset all right as you can see it's uh, look very good i'm going to close this uh, inspect tool and very nice this uh, this graphics these assets are from the game we, we developed several months ago and that's called Merchfish. You can play it on GamePix or Pocky.com. I hope the tutorial was useful for you. Comment your ideas and challenges you have for the next video. Introduce me to your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.